Conservative legal groups are already celebrating President Trump's nomination of Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. One such political group, the Judicial Crisis Network, has already announced a $1.4 million ad buy in the wake of President Trump's selection. Here is the ad the group is running. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh is the best of the best. His life has been defined by hard work and excellence. A star student at Yale Law, he went on to clerk on the Supreme Court. After working in the White House, Brett Kavanaugh became a judge, confirmed with bipartisan support. Strong and independent, he applies the Constitution just as it was written. Like Neil Gorsuch, he'll be another great justice. Confirm Kavanaugh. Joining me now is Carrie Severino. Carrie is the chief counsel and policy director for the Judicial Crisis Network, the group that made the ad you just saw. Carrie, thanks so much for joining us. Great to be here. Um, you just tweeted that the nomination of Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court is a home run. Um, specifically, why is it that you feel uh, that he is the best pick for this position? Judge Kavanaugh is a real rock star of the federal courts. He's someone who has authored nearly 300 opinions in his dozen years in the bench and is known on the D.C. Circuit as someone who has a real expertise in the important questions of the constitutional limits on government, the separation of powers, and major administrative law issues that come before that court specifically so much. Those are the kind of issues that he has taught at Harvard and Law, at Harvard and Yale Law School, at Georgetown Law School as well. So he's someone who's just nationally recognized, so much so that even the Supreme Court often is found adopting his opinions in at least 11 different opinions. They adopted his arguments, and in, in at least five of them I've seen, they cited him uh, specifically saying, this is the, uh, the opinion we are adopting. So he's someone who already has a lot of influence within the federal uh, bench, and I think it's going to be really exciting to see him now uh, almost a natural fit for the Supreme Court. Well, your group, the Judicial Crisis Network, is paying $1.4 million to run that ad. We showed in four states as well as to a national audience. Those four states, Alabama, Indiana, North Dakota, and West Virginia, are all red states that have Democratic senators. What are you hoping that people who see your ad will say when they call their senators' offices? We hope that they're going to tell their senators, this is someone who is incredibly qualified, who is a great pick for the court. And uh, I think in many people in those states, overwhelming numbers, came, went to the polls to vote for President Trump because of the Supreme Court. So I hope they encourage their senators to support this nominee. He's such a great nominee. I think, aside from purely partisan reasons, uh, there's, no, there's no good justification that, they, that these uh, senators would vote against him, particularly those who voted so recently in favor of Justice Gorsuch. Gorsuch. Well, I want to play a soundbite from outside the Supreme Court Monday night. New York Democratic Senator and possible 2020 presidential candidate Kirsten Gillibrand set up her view of the stakes for the coming confirmation fight. Everyone here knows what is at stake. Everyone here knows what is at stake. What is at stake is women's freedom, our freedom to make our own decisions. So her comments there centered uh, the fight very much around uh, Roe v. Wade and the issue of abortion rights. Does your group hope that Brett Kavanaugh, should he be confirmed, will be uh, a voice for those Americans who oppose abortion rights? No, our hope is that he'll be someone who is faithful to the text of the laws and the Constitution, as he talked about in his acceptance uh, speech tonight. That I, I don't know what he would do when presented with uh, a Roe versus Wade decision. And frankly, we don't know what most of the justices in the Supreme Court would do if, if faced with, with the opportunity to overturn it, which, frankly, is an unlikely issue that it would come up in, in, in a square way itself. That's really what we're seeing is scare tactics from the left. This is the kind of rhetoric we've heard really since Justice O'Connor was, was nominated, Justice Kennedy, Justice Souter, all of them. People were saying, this is it, this is the person who's going to overturn Roe versus Wade. Uh, they, they all predicted incorrectly. Frankly, I think it's a, a, with Chief Justice Roberts as a swing vote of the court, that's really not an issue that's likely to uh, this is likely to be the deciding vote on. I think at the end of the day, the most important thing is having someone who is 
first and foremost, their goal is to interpret the law fairly and even-handedly and not to put their own policy preferences before the law itself. What about when it comes to not necessarily overturning Roe versus Wade, but uh, if there is a case in which, for instance, the court is asked to weigh in on whether or not a an individual state's own law regarding abortion rights uh, is permissible, oftentimes uh, we hear about cases in which uh, there's an attempt to uh, restrict abortion rights. Is that an instance where you would hope and those uh, who are part of your group would hope that Judge Kavanaugh would, in fact, um, be supportive of those kinds of laws that would further restrict abortion rights? I would hope that in each of those cases, he's going to take the case as it's argued. There's going to be literally thousands of pages in such a case of briefs on both sides explaining the laws and the different perspectives on the history, uh, the constitutional provisions at issue. I would hope that he is going to be a fair judge who reads all of those and takes all of the opinions on both sides very seriously. That, in his decade on the bench and his dozen years, really, on the bench, is what we've seen from him time and time again. So I'm confident that he will be someone who will give a fair hearing to all sides of the argument. How would you assess the chances of Judge Kavanaugh being confirmed? Oh, I think they're excellent. I, I, I can't imagine. Look, the Republicans have control of Congress, uh, of, of, this, of the Senate, and I think he's someone who is would easily garner not just the Republican votes, but support from Democrats as well, especially, as we, as we pointed out, those Democrats in red states, they're going to have a tough decision to make, because this is the kind of pick that is going to be very popular with the, the uh, overwhelming majority of people in those states. And I'm, I, I'm assuming they're not going to want to align themselves simply with the far left and alienate the bulk of the people in their state. Carrie Severino. Carrie, thanks very much for your perspective. Thanks.